we do have some good news though on COVID-19 news we finally got some good news and the news we've all basically wanted um COVID, especially in the uk we've been confirmed as the first place i think in the western world to um judge the vaccine to be safe the one that's been developed by pfizer and BioNTech, i guess the german company um and it's welcome news man welcome news for all people i think um most of us have probably gotten to the point of um lockdown fatigue covid19 fatigue in general i know we have as a country people are just not really abiding by the rules everyone's sort of doing what they want to do i looked at and i looked at you know it's a good example of it though um that rita aura story where she went and did her had her christmas party her birthday party sorry for a 30th or something right and then she came out with an apology after the fact you know um say how sorry she was and she should do better blah blah reading that apology and seeing the effort that they went to put that party together because i think she mentioned that it was like a surprise birthday party but she you know was all glammed up to the nines people bringing balloons and shit that party was planned to some extent so if that's the case most of us are would be led to it'd be safe to assume that she was probably going to have that party regardless and already had her apology drafted prior to putting on the party so if that's the case if Rita Ora who I would consider to be a bit of a square right a bit of a you know a bit of a square not the most rock starish of pop stars that exist out there and if she's having you know the thinking or is at this point which is like you know what I'm gonna have my birthday party I don't care if she's doing it then for sure we've all kind of reached our point of sort of like being able to not give any more especially after this recent lockdown that's happening now and the inclusion of the tears it's just getting becoming a little bit too much to really deal with day to day so it looks like again most people's assumption that life would only return with the vaccine has been proven right especially in the western world we just aren't compliant enough as a country or as people to abide by the rules as they're set out especially when our people in leadership are not abiding by them themselves the numbers don't seem to go down and loads of misinformation and all this other blah 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 blah, blah shit. so i think the vaccine is probably the best possible route out of this of course it's the best possible route out of this but for us especially in the west this is the only way we're going to get back to any sort of normality we weren't going to beat the, vi the virus the same way they did in new zealand or in vietnam and other places like that so anyway this is an article from the bbc it said COVID-19 Pfizer BioNTech vaccine judged safe for use in UK. So it says the UK has become the first country in the world to approve the, the Pfizer and BioNTech coronavirus vaccine. Uh, Britain's medicines regulator, the MHRA, says the jab, which offers up to 95% protection against COVID-19 illness, is safe to be rolled out. The first doses are already on their way to the UK with 800,000. 800,000 due to in the coming days said Pfizer health secretary Matt Hancock said the NHS will contact people about the jabs the elderly people in care homes and the care home staff will be placed at the top of the priority list which makes complete sense followed by the over 80s and the healthcare staff but because hospitals are already at the facilities to store the vaccine at 70 degrees at 70 degrees Celsius um, as required the first vaccinations are likely to take place there for, for care staff um, NHS staff and patients a further 640 deaths within 28 days of a post positive COVID-19 test were recorded in the UK on Wednesday with another 16,170 cases reported again we're being so numb to these numbers now and we hear these numbers being bounded around they just oh man it's so so distressing man I hopefully when all this comes to an end there's a way to commemorate the memory of all the people sorry that passed during this time because god almighty man, i'm sure once the dust settles the amount of families that have been broken that have been destroyed through this period you know of lockdown and having to suffer living life amongst you know with covid in and amongst us is going to be very very profound so hopefully there's something put in place to honor some of the people who are unable to hold on until a vaccine um was kind of you know uh, approved it continues here um prime minister boris johnson urged the police not to get carried away with the over optimism sorry, public sorry police without of the over optimism optimism or failing into a naive belief that the struggle was over he told Daniel Street news conference that while the uh, searchlights of science had created a working vaccine significant logistical challenges remained of course the pfizer biontech jab is the fastest vaccine to go from concept to reality taking 10 months to follow the same steps normally span 10 years which leads me to believe the people responsible for this will probably be up for a nobel peace prize or something along those kind of lines because that is absolutely insane um that is definitely an illustration of the rate of innovation nowadays compared to back then right 10 months to 10 years is absolutely unreal it continues here 
The UK has already ordered 40 million doses of the jab, enough to vaccinate 20 million people. The doses will be rolled out as quickly as they can, made by Pfizer. In Belgium, as Hancock said, with the first load next week and then several millions throughout December. So by next week already, there'll be a first couple of people who already got the vaccine. How mad would that going to be, man? That is so cool, especially again for industries such as my, that I'm interested in with hospitality, nightlife, bars, dance, music, culture, nightclubs in general. This is the only way they're going to be able to function and they're going to be able to make some kind of income the next year because again i would assume not all places will be able to operate to a hundred percent capacity but just having the ability to put on some events on to have some money coming through sponsorship and marketing and advertising is definitely going to help so yes for that one yay 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 scottish first minister nicola sturgeon said the first people in scotland will be immunized on tuesday awesome watch health sexual care minister vaughan getting said the rollout of the Pfizer jab to care homes would be practically difficult because it's how it ends up to be stored mr getting said it was not impossible so it's not possible to transport the Pfizer vaccine to more than 1,000 kilometers across Wales. The bulk of the rollout across the UK will be next year. Ms. Hancock said adding 2020 has been awful and 2021 is going to get better. So yeah, so loads of really good news on that one. Of course, they kind of uh, broke down how it's actually going to be applied. The phases, of course, mostly to people that are, are vulnerable. And then you've got some more information down here about um, how the doses are going to be spread out. So two doses, um, one day one and then by the day 21 you get your second jab and then from 28 you'll be having full immunity so there's still a lot of work to do prior to this but in general just in terms of us returning to some level of normality allowing people to kind of get back to work quote unquote allowing people to reopen their businesses um you know put their kids back into school without really feeling that worried visit obviously vulnerable family members industries whatever it may be it's going to be really really interesting to see um this happening and again roll out um of course within the next few weeks and of course leading into a new year and it's a perfect way to sort of end this sort of really ridiculous year in general anyway we needed some bit of good news some glimmer of hope some light down the end of the tunnel just to hold us forth because i was of the assumption that if there's no vaccine for sure most places are going to get into another you know you're seeing what's happening in the states right I think the states for the most part um you know yeah america for the most part with the exception of some states most people aren't necessarily taking the virus that seriously and you've seen the consequences right um, places are going into you know not other state uh, are going into like second rounds of lockdown sometimes third and there's definitely a prospect with the states where they'll have a scenario where for the most of the new year they'll be under some sort of lockdown again right especially in the densely populated places like new york and stuff but with the vaccine on the horizon it sort of allows them to become to return to some level of normality of course in the interim i'm sure unfortunately they're probably still going to lose some lives but just having that option is going to be good especially again for places like america that the people with population haven't been the most um cooperative it looks like for in terms of agreeing what to do when it comes to dealing with covid but again for people in the uk good news ahead again we still have to remain vigilant so we have to do all the common sense things um to make sure we don't you know spread the virus unnecessarily or put ourselves at risk and all that malarkey so yeah good to see good to hear and i cannot wait for this shit to be finally over i cannot wait trust me over it mate i'm bloody over it